Hey guys, it's Jordan again. Uh, it's time to put the hat down. We got to get serious. So today I want to talk about toolboxes. As you guys know, I am flat ass out of space. I am stacked up in my uh, 54 inch Matco box. I mean, I just, I got to do something. And, um, I've been looking at Snap-on Epics for a while. My guy's about to go to the Tool Expo the 10th and he was gonna look around and see what deals he could get me. But I started looking around and I come across some other boxes throughout time that have really caught my attention. And uh, those are the toolboxes on Strictly Toolboxes. Now I've heard mostly good reviews from both of these toolboxes but there's some pretty obvious differences that i wanted to talk about um the first company is tool vault and um tool vault recently last year came out with an 84 inch box as well as they already had a 72 inch setup um so they have a five-year limited warranty. Um, they're 30 deep. Uh, the 72 20 drawer with a hutch and side locker is $5,137. They give you options to have spring-loaded casters. Shift weight is 1,700 pounds. Um, and you can get them in black, blue, lime green, or orange. Uh, the dimensions of that box combined are 91 inches overall width, 72 inches high, and 30 inches deep. Uh, like I said, the, the shipped weight is 1,700 pounds, but net weight, so I'm assuming the weight of the box is 1,500 pounds. Um, now, I don't know exactly what uh, a snap-on 72 weighs, but we can look right quick. So, uh, obviously I'm in the epic area here. So they, I don't think they make a 72 Epic. I think they make a 76. And a 76 inch Epic. These are all drawer sizes. A 76 inch Epic is, okay, here's a 76. Uh, Just the cabinet itself is 936 pounds. So um, 936 pounds plus a top locker or a hutch. Okay, a side locker, here's a side locker. 30 inch side locker. It is 400 pounds. So that's uh, right at 14, plus the overhead uh, hutch is 350. So that's a comparable weight, okay? So you're looking at 1,700. That's approximately the same weight as a snap-on. So we'll get that ironed out. Okay, but the next thing I wanted to talk about is the extreme. Uh, same setup. 72 with a single uh, locker and an overhead hutch, okay? The Extreme has got a limited lifetime warranty and the weight difference is pretty substantial. Um, it actually comes in weighing a little bit more, I believe, than even the Snap-on. Okay, so I was wrong. I was wrong. The Snap-on weighs 200 pounds more net than the Tool Vault. Uh, I was looking at shipped weight. So the net weight 
of the extreme, okay, extreme, is 1,854 pounds, guys. This thing weighs more than a snap-on box setup, identical to it, okay? It costs $8,000, okay, their price. So, snap-on and the extreme, the extreme weighs more than the snap-on. Obviously, we know what the snap-on costs. It's like 13, 12, 13 grand, maybe even a little bit more for just the freaking walker uh, in an 84. But, um, so here's the price difference. Tool vault, 51, extreme, 81. So $3,000 difference. Shipped weight, so obviously, okay, the extreme is 500 pounds heavier than the tool vault. That is a lot, a lot, a lot of weight difference in a space that size. So obviously the extreme box is built out of a lot heavier material. Uh, the dimensions themselves in the extreme box, okay, is even a little bit shorter overall than the tool vault. Two inches shorter overall and it still weighs 350 pounds more or wait i'm sorry yeah 350 pounds more which just boggles the mind like blows me away i was saying 500 pounds i was wrong it's 300 pounds uh which is still a lot a lot a lot of weight so 300 pound difference five-year warranty versus um you know uh lifetime warranty and um the drawer capacity on the extreme box is 500 or 50 pounds more uh between the two okay so here is the toolbox construction stuff okay so it says here the shell gauge so the gauge of the actual shell of the box is an 18 gauge on the tool vault and it's 16 gauge on the extreme the drawer gauge is 20 on the tool vault and 18 on the extreme the caster channel so the bulkhead is 11 gauge on the extreme and 14 gauge on the tool vault so there's a lot of weight there uh, this one's got two side handles so there's the weight I mean and, and this one's also got more drawers it's got three more drawers so there is some more weight there uh, set of slides there's two more slides obviously okay so the drawer capacity is 300 pounds and this other one the tool vault is 250 uh, the total square inches of storage space is 16,450 on the extreme and 15,769 on the tool vault. The total cubic inches of the box, uh, the tool vault is 20,000 more cubic inches or less. Wait, that's right. Okay, so look, extreme is 109, okay, overall. And the tool vault is 129 overall. Total square inches, the extreme ends up being more 15 7 and 16 4 so that's kind of strange they've uh, optimized the drawer space on the uh, on the extreme more than the tool vault but the total cubic inches the obviously it's the two inches taller so that's probably where the 20,000 is coming from plus a little bit more somewhere else uh, the casters 
The caster capacity on the tool vault is 150 pounds more than on the extreme even. Uh, Huh. Well, uh, the top drawer dimensions, okay? Uh, so the long drawers, are they're both 50-inch drawers. Uh, but the drawer layout is a little bit different between the two, I noticed. So your long drawer is on the right-hand side versus the left-hand side on the extreme. And, you know, they're kind of just reverse of each other, if you will. But, you get two deep drawers versus the shallow drawers. That's where they're coming up with the more drawers. So, um, anyhow, otherwise they're a pretty comparable box. But this one's just much heavier because it's built with much thicker material. So... I think the same would be said of the, uh, and then obviously Extreme has got uh, two lockers set up as well as Tool Vault, and the price difference is pretty substantial there too. So all the same stuff. This one's ten grand for the Extreme, and this one is six grand for the Tool Vault. Really, I mean that's crazy. I mean. It, thicker material but it's still a substantial price difference now obviously this box in a in a uh, snap-on would probably be 15 grand so this is the one that I'm really interested in is this 84 inch tool vault because I think a 72 is too small for me <clears throat> I wish extreme had a 84 but I think their prices would probably be 14 grand at that point might as well go buy the snap-on 84 with a single side locker so, uh, look at the prices right quick. Single locker, 6,900. Double locker, 8,300. Uh, many of the specs are the same as far as capacities and all that. Uh, the gauge and material it's made out of is all the same. Uh, this one's got 26 drawers, yada, yada. It's all the same. Uh, but your long drawers, okay, your three long drawers, which I have to have three long drawers. That's all there is to it. The other thing that bothers me about the 72 inch boxes is they only, the, the extreme only has two long drawers, whereas the tool vault has the three long drawers. So I gotta have three long drawers. Um, and one top deep one for sockets. But, the, but I don't, what I don't understand what bothers me is, is I wish they would have gone all the way uh, across and done like a like snap ons 84 where you got one big super long three big super long top drawers uh, instead of these goofy side ones but the top center the longest drawer is only 47 inches long well my biggest crowbar is 48 so that kind of be a problem uh, So that's one thing I don't like about it is, is I'm losing my width of my top drawer. So that's going to be a problem for sockets. I'll either have to move all my big sockets over to a side drawer or something like that. But anyway, guys, I wanted the reason I'm doing this is because I want to get your opinions and I want to hear what you guys think. If you guys have had your hands on these tool vault or these extreme boxes, I want to know about them. Okay. Every toolbox is going to have a little bit of drawer wobble because they're ball bearings. So you got to have some drawer wobble to be able to operate. So, uh, but you go grab this Matco box and then you walk up to the equivalent snap-on and grab it and wobble it empty. The snap-on's got next to no drawer wobble in comparison to this Matco box. So I want to know if you guys have had your hands on these boxes and what you think about them, what you think about the drawer wobble, what you think about them overall, the build quality, the lockers, the hutches, I just want to know. Because, I mean, I've had my hands on a snap-on. I know what they're all about, you know. And um, I just really, really, really would love to know. Um, and I think you guys would be a great source of finding out uh, those things. 
So I think you can get an Epic with a, in a three drawer configuration, but it's got to be a custom build. Um, I could be wrong, but if that's the case, then that's the other problem I've got with a snap on is that it doesn't have three long drawers. Now, obviously, that power cabinet is pretty sick, and you can get it in a power hutch and a power power locker. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm out of room. I got to buy a box. I don't have the money to. I need to sell something. Once I sell that something, I'll have money to buy the box. But I want to know what you guys think. I wish I knew someone around me that had one of these things that I could go and get my hands on and uh, check it out. But anyway, guys. Let me know. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, help me get to that thousand subscriber mark. And uh, I'm just going to keep pumping out the videos and see what happens. You know what I mean? So anyway, guys, deuces. Let me know. See you guys later.